Beginning session. Thank God you're all right, Tommy. Are you in pain? Yeah, but the meds work. I'm so sorry that you had to go through this, Tommy. I didn't even know that Unger had transferred you to Pinehurst. That's because it was my idea. I asked to be moved to Pinehurst. What? I'm tired of being in treatment. I hate living this way. I, I, I keep thinking about why you sent me to Unger to face my fear. Well, Pinehurst is even closer to Crystal Lake than Unger, so... It was my idea to be moved there. Unger should have notified me. That's on them. But talk to me. Knowing what happened, that a crazy person put on a hockey mask and murdered people. I know what you're getting at. I mean, this is exactly what Rigo has always claimed happened the first time I faced off with Jason and killed him. That it couldn't have been the real Jason Voorhees, right? Just a random psychopath trying to act out an urban legend, right? Forget Detective Rigo. How do you feel about Jason now, Tommy? After this crazy paramedic thing, I should be feeling better about all of it, shouldn't I? So tell me, why do I feel worse? How so? I... I... I'm gonna tell you something right now that's gonna make me sound even crazier than ever. I'm listening. Dr. Marino. Lauren. What if I'm Jason Voorhees? What makes you say that, Tommy? Last night, I had a dream that I killed Pam. Pam Roberts? Dr. Leonard's assistant at Pinehurst? It was so real. I, I had his hockey mask, Jason's mask, and I stood right there where you are now, and I stabbed Pam to death. Her blood, it was all over me, all over the floor. There was so much blood. Tommy. You just survived an unbelievable trauma, again. A dream like that is not unusual given all you've been through. You're not hearing me. I... I think I'm dangerous. I think I should be locked up. I, I think I'm becoming... Jason. <laughs>